Over 450,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer each year. It is only the 11th most common form of cancer in Canadian women. In contrast, in sub-Saharan Africa, it is the most common cancer affecting women. The reasons include the lack of screening and the high incidence of HIV, which puts women at a much higher risk of getting cervical cancer. The annual death toll for cervical cancer is over 260,000, with the worst survival rates in sub-Saharan Africa. My name is Dr. Barry Rosen. I am the head of gynecologic oncology at the University of Toronto. I have been visiting Kenya semi-annually for the last four years to collaborate with Dr. Omengi in the development of a gynecologic oncology care program. We work together under a larger program called AMPATH. AMPATH is a consortium of institutions from North America, and we partner with Moy University in Eldoret to establish a broad spectrum of healthcare and social programs in Western Kenya. Implementation of an AMPATH cervical cancer screening program began in 2009. This program includes screening with VIA and treatment with cryotherapy. We have found that its effectiveness in HIV-positive women is poor, with a failure rate of over 30%. In addition, we have found that 35% of women who have an abnormal screen are lost to follow-up because of barriers related to travel time and cost. Our bold idea is to address the treatment failure rate of cryotherapy and high loss to follow-up rate by introducing a see-and-treat approach with a technology called LEAP. This is the same treatment used in Canada. LEAP is a procedure where the abnormal cervical lesion is excised and it has been proven to be more effective than cryotherapy. We plan to introduce LEAP at the initial screening visit for women with an abnormal screen. This approach will reduce the loss to follow-up rate and provide a more effective treatment than cryotherapy, particularly for those most at risk, the HIV-positive population. See and treat with LEAP will save lives.